Hey there, second graders. Today, we are going to be doubling the fun. We are going to be adding ing, ing, and ed to the end of our words. We have some verbs down here underneath our blanks, and we have to read the sentences to see which one makes sense to fill in the blanks. And we are going to have to double this last letter. It's going to be a consonant there at the end before we add our ed and our ing. So we're going to have to read it to see which one makes sense and then double that consonant before we add our ing and our ed. So let's do a couple of these together and then I'll let you do the rest on your own. First one says he zip up his jacket because it was cold outside. So he zipping up his jacket or he zipped up his jacket that's right he zipped up his jacket and you're gonna have to double that p z i p p e d so friends anytime we add ing or ed to the end of a word if it ends with a vowel and a consonant you're gonna double that consonant before you add ing or ed. Let's read the next one. We have the word stop. Grandma, stop to get some apples for the pie. That doesn't sound right. Do we want to say grandma stopping to get some apples for the pie or grandma stopped to get some apples for the pie? That's right. Grandma stopped. And what do we have to choose to that P? We're gonna double it. So grandma stopped, double your P before you add ED. Let's do one more. The girls skip all the way to the pumpkin patch. The girls skipping all the way to the pumpkin patch or the girls skipped all the way to the pumpkin patch, skipped. S K I don't forget to double that P E D. All right, let's do one more. The boys were sit on top of the largest pumpkin. The boys were sitting on top of the largest pumpkin, or the boys were sitted on top of the largest pumpkin. The first one, right? The boys were sitting on top of the largest pumpkin. So you're going to write sit, double that T, and add I-N-G. All right, friends, you're going to go ahead and finish the rest of that. Read the sentence, see which one makes sense. You'll be able to tell when you read it. And don't forget to double your consonant before you add I-N-G or E-D.